gentlemen, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're at, world. Detroit, Dion here, Orlando Real. I am here with my good friend, Janetta Rodriguez, over here at the tasting room here in Orlando, in this beautiful facility here. We are surrounded by Vino de Vino. And tonight I came out to one of her events. She's a young female entrepreneur in the fashion industry, and probably doing other things too, which I'm sure she'll let you know. So explain to me, Janera, what are we here today for? So we're here pretty much invited by, by Hispanic Bill and Networks. So what we do is like pretty much like we invite like local businesses and local entrepreneurs to get together in a specific different places in Orlando just to share ideas of how they can collaborate each other, how they can help each other to boost their businesses or their services. So that's pretty much my idea. I've been working as a freelance for many, many companies uh, in the fashion industry as well in uh, many, many other um, industries. And yeah, that's pretty much what we do here. We invite people to collaborate each other, to meet each other in a social atmosphere and, and just to have fun. Beautiful, have beautiful. fun and make business together. All right, so we're at a business networking function, but Janera herself is in an industry. What industry would you say you are in? So pretty much I'm in the fashion industry. I used to work at House of Giselle as a fashion designer. Now I'm pretty much like working as a freelance with um, different companies helping them like boost their brands, boost their um, businesses, their sales. Right now I'm working in Dealers Florida Mall Dealers. as a fashion stylist. So see, for any reason you need like some help with your wardrobe or you don't have time to shop or you want to just to come to our store then just like meet me and just like have everything there and you don't have you don't have time to just like look around for what are you looking for just contact me you have like uh, my information here in this video and I can help you out with any fashion like needs that you have in your life okay so Janeiro why fashion Fashion is my passion, it's been like my pretty much my life because since I grow up I used to love help people but not only help people, I love help people to feel confident about themselves. I love to help people and hear their compliments about like how my services can change their lifestyle. So that's my purpose as a fashion designer as a fashion stylist is not only to give a service to get like to gain some money it's a purpose behind that it's a my purpose as a as a fashion designer as a stylist is just help people to feel better with themselves to feel more confident and just to fulfill their their needs in life and, and help them to reach their goals in life that's my purpose as a fashion stylist beautiful i love it i love it i like how she pointed out because someone said it the other day Day. and I forget what business they were in but I thought as a DJ but she's right we help it was Buddha actually that said it Already? but you're rel relieving stress from other people's relieving pain from other people and hairstylists do it fashion does it music does it it relieves stress off people's brain and actually builds you up like you said with confidence mm -hmm. it makes you feel better as a person she's providing a service which is a much needed service obviously the fashion industry is a huge industry mm -hmm. so I mean it, Kudos to you and glad to see you pursuing your passion. Now, somebody like yourself, we got a lot of young entrepreneurs watching this. You know, what would you say to someone that wants to get into the fashion industry? What 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 do you, what you say to someone who's thinking about it? Well, I just like and my best um, advice to all of you is like don't give up about your dreams. Just like be persistent. Network. Network is a best tool to expose yourself and don't you don't have to invest like that much money. Just like show up to different meetup groups, to network groups. Let them people know about you, who you are, what's your passions in life. And obviously like just like as much as many people that you know in life during your path they are going to help you out no matter no matter what if it's today tomorrow in two years trust me that network is the key of success so i totally encourage you to just like go out there meet people step out of your comfort zone i know that some people don't feel confident about like talking with strangers but guess what that's going to help you not only to polish your skills but also to meet like new people and incorporate new people in your circle that in the long run is going to help you 
to you and your business. Beautiful, and I love everything she said there, and I want to touch on something because I've gone to a lot of different networking events. What is your definition of network? Because some people have a weird view of what networking is. Some people think it's, here's a business card. If you want to buy a house, see me. If you don't, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. What is your, your idea of networking? Uh, my idea of network is like build connections. Connections, when you, it's not about to keep a business card and just like drop them in your sale, desk sale, sale, or, sale, sale. or whatever. Or just think about like somebody's trying to sell something, no. Connections are everything. When you connect with people, when you grow your network, when you have the opportunity, <laughs> you have what, the opportunity. I'm sorry, we're alive, so That's all right. We went to hit my man. That's my man. No, 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 I'm, I'm gonna hit you up. Bye. Peace, Thank peace, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All you so right. much. So that that's that's love from her networking people that came to hang out. You know, they didn't come here to they, they didn't walk in the room to sell it. He sells houses. He didn't come in here and say, hey, buy a house. He mm -hmm. just came to say hello. It's just about like once again to build your network. As many people as you know from many many industries, they will reach you. They will help you. You can reach them out. You can like count of them and just like ask them ask, like anything that you need during your path trust me that network will help you and your connection will help you in a long run to grow as a professional as an entrepreneur professional. so that's my key of success yes network events don't miss out try as many as you want and just don't show up there and just like drop your business card yeah. build relationships Grow up with that person that you got in contact with. Follow up with them. Just send them an email and say, hi, how are you? Yes. And it was a pleasure to meet you. How I can help you in a future. How, when is your next network event where you're going to attend? Like anything, anything. It's, I know it's hard for some people who are not um, maybe confident. To, I'm talking with strangers, but guess what guys? That's an amazing thing. It has been helping me, and I know it will help you to grow as a professional and as an entrepreneur. Okay, I love everything she's saying. Adding value, not just taking, but being a giver, adding value. Now, a lot of people seem to think there's shortcuts and all this. What do you see about hard work? We talk about this a lot on my show. Is there shortcuts or is it is? I mean, what do you? See? I don't see any ways around hard work, but it's people no, are looking for it. No, but there's no way to shortcut those. I mean, <laughs> you have to like sacrifice nights. Sacrifice. Um, you have to like maybe sleep one hour if you wanna reach your goal. You have to sacrifice time. Television, movies. Family sometimes and um, partners. Yep. You have to sacrifice so many things in life in order to reach your goals. But you have to stay focused on your dreams. Ooh, Don't give up. She just stay hit it. Focus. She hit the word which I was leading to next. You see, our, our brains are in a line. The word focus. When did you finally get focused? And how important is it to be focused? That, that's the main goal. If you're not, if you lose your focus, you're you're pretty much it's, it's like a driving a car blind with no eyes. You have to be like 100% focused on where you're going and what you want in life. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody like put you down. Just like stay focused on what you want in life and where you see yourself mm -hmm. in a future. It's not going to be easy. No. You're going to cry so much like this person yeah. right here but guess what at the end of the day you're going to fulfill your needs you're going to be so happy and trust me it's a hard it takes a hard 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 work to be an entrepreneur but it's all worth it. i love it you see we're sailing right now what how does janera get out of bed get busy and work when she doesn't want to like how do you do it when your mind, your body, everything is telling you no, how do you make yourself do it? Thinking about my goals, where I see myself in five years, in 10 years, and that just keep me up. It doesn't matter if I have been sleeping one hour or not sleeping at all. When I think about like where I see myself in five years, I just like, the drive is just like, keep me up. Oh. That's my secret. 
I love it. Now, if you can describe your fashion. Describe my fashion. My fashion is a conservative, sexy, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, sexy, conservative, um, business entrepreneur oriented. I like it, I like it, very nice. All right, last question. We'll cut this sweet and short. But Janera, we always do this show, if Janera could pick up a phone and call a 15-year-old Janera that's sitting there, I don't know if you're in Puerto Rico or if you were here, and give Janera some business or life advice. If you could call yourself at 15, say, hey, it's me, I just want to let you know, what would you tell your 15-year-old self? Stay in school, work hard, be focused, learn something that nobody can take out from you. It's what you learn in life. Educate yourself. Education is the key of success in your life. Yes. Be on school. Be focused. Don't lose your focus in life. That would be my 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 just advice for those 15 years old that they just think about like being pretty. Mm. Stay focused. I love it. I love it. Now people need to get a hold of you. Shout out whatever you want to shout out. Whether it's website, Instagram. Well, how can people find you? Absolutely. You can follow me in any social media. Janira Rodriguez or hispanicblm.com we're hosting um, events around Orlando, Tampa, Chicago and Texas at beautiful venues I might add in different venues, local, um, local venues here in Orlando if we're talking about Orlando mm -hmm. um, unique venues for all of you we have um, complimentary drink tickets and I hope that you have the opportunity not only to show up but build your network for you guys Yes. And once again y'all, peace and hair grease I want to thank you so much, I appreciate this Reach out to my girl if you have any questions on fashion, on networking, on business. I'm sure she'd love to just network and reach out to you and just say what up. So as we say, peace and hair grease. Buenas noches. Bye. One love, y'all. Bye-bye.